Chapter 15 Means of Transport In early age, the only way to cover the distance was to walk on foot or on the back of animals. There were no vehicles. The invention of wheel brought out major changes in transport system. As the time passed, people improved the wheel to fit in various carts and wheels. This effort of inventors developed fast-moving means of transport we see around us today. Today, traveling has come a long way. These days we travel from one place to another in very less time. There are four important means of transport in India. 1. Roadways 2. Railways 3. Waterways 4. Airways Roadways. India has a very wide network of roads. They link almost every village, town and city in our country. The Grand Trunk Road is one of the oldest and largest major roads. It was built by Emperor Sir Shah Suri in 1542. We have two types of roads, capture roads and pukka roads. Capture roads are unmetalled roads and pukka roads are metalled with tar. The roads in the cities are metalled. National Highways the national highways connect different states and cities all over the country. There are seven national highways in India. The NH1 National Highway 1 links New Delhi to the town of Itari in Punjab. The National Highways Authority of Indian High is responsible for the maintenance and management of national highways in India. State Highways State highways connect important towns within a state. Golden Quadrilateral The Golden Quadrilateral is a network of highways that joins the four metropolitan cities of our country Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata. Importance of Roads Roads are used to carry passengers and goods to different places. They play an important role in the growth of industries, as raw materials are transported by roads to factories. They play a vital role in times of emergency such as famines and floods as they help in the rescue of people and quick transportation of goods. Railways India has the largest railway system in Asia and the fourth largest in the world. The first railway in India was started in 1853 between Mumbai and Thane, covering a distance of about 34 kilometers. Railways carry a large number of people and goods from one place to another at the same time. They are known as the lifeline of the country. There are different types of trains like superfast trains, express trains, and passenger trains. The Vandi Bharat, Shetabdi, Rajdhani and Duranto are the superfast trains. They have limited halts and the passengers can reach their destination quickly. They provide all comforts within the compartments for the passengers. Large amounts of goods are carried to the centers of industries and the markets for sale within the country by trains. There are special trains called goods trains used for this purpose. Local trains. Many cities like Mumbai and Chennai have the facility of local trains. Traveling by these local trains is not only cheaper for the people but also faster as the road traffic is avoided. Metro trains, cities like Kolkata and Delhi also have a metro railway system. In this system, trains run within the city on elevated and underground tracks. Waterways. The waterways are the oldest means of transport in the world. Boats, ships and steamers are the main means of water transport. It is the cheapest means of transport. Passenger ships carry people, while big cargo ships are used to carry goods from one place to another. Tanker ships are used to carry oil and other petroleum products from one place to another. Some rivers like the Brahmaputra, Hooghly and the lagoons of Kerala are suitable for water transport in India. The Sundarban Delta in West Bengal has many waterways. There are 12 major ports and 187 minor ports along the coastline of India. Mumbai is one of the oldest and most important port of India. The other big seaports in India are at Vishakapatnam, Kaki, Kolkata, Chennai, etc. Airways. Airways is the most advanced and developed means of transportation. It is the fastest means of transport. At the same time, 
It is also the most expensive mode of transport. It helps us to cover long distances in a short time. It is the only means by which we can get to places which cannot be reached by road or railways. Airways are useful for natural disasters for providing rescue operations. An airport is a place where flights take off and land. Some of the important airports are Katrapati Shivaji Airport at Mumbai, Indira Gandhi International Airport at Delhi, Sebastian Chandra Bose International Airport at Kolkata, and Chennai International Airport at Chennai. Airlines are the companies that provide air travel facilities. They are of two types domestic and international. Domestic airlines carry people and things within the country. International airlines carry people from one country to another. In India, the government airline is Air India. There are private airlines like Air Asia, Air India, Akaza Air, Indigo, SpiceJet, GoAir, etc. which also operate domestic and international